Picture this, tomato plants so heavy with fruit they need extra staking, pepper plants producing double their normal yield, and flowers so vibrant they look like they've been touched by magic. This isn't gardening fantasy, this is what happens when you give your plants the foundation they truly deserve. After 15 years of experimenting, failing, and fine-tuning, I've developed a soil mix that consistently delivers harvests so abundant, I've had neighbors knock on my door asking what I'm secretly feeding my plants. The truth is, most gardeners focus on everything except the most crucial element, the soil beneath their feet. We obsess over seed varieties, watering schedules, and fertilizer brands, but we plant them in mediocre growing medium and wonder why our results are mediocre too. Your soil isn't just dirt, it's a living ecosystem that either supercharges your plants or holds them back. Today I'm sharing the exact formula that transformed my garden from average to extraordinary, and I guarantee it will do the same for yours. Deconstructing my ultimate soil mix. The foundational three. The foundation of any exceptional growing medium starts with three non-negotiable components, each serving a specific purpose in creating the perfect plant paradise. Think of these as the holy trinity of soil building. Remove any one and your entire system suffers. The first pillar is premium aged compost, and I cannot stress enough that not all compost is created equal. You want compost that's been properly aged for at least 18 months, with a rich, earthy smell and a crumbly texture that holds together when squeezed, but breaks apart easily when disturbed. This black gold provides the slow-release nutrition your plants crave while building the soil structure that supports healthy root development. I source mine from local organic farms, or create my own using a careful balance of green and brown materials, turning it regularly until it reaches that perfect chocolate cake consistency. The second foundation element is coconut coir, which has revolutionized how I think about soil moisture management. Unlike peat moss, which can become hydrophobic when it dries out, coconut coir maintains consistent moisture retention while still allowing excess water to drain freely. This remarkable material expands dramatically when hydrated, creating countless tiny air pockets that roots absolutely love to explore. When I switched from peat to coir in my mix, I noticed an immediate improvement in root development and overall plant vigor. The third crucial component is perlite, those white volcanic glass pearls that many gardeners underestimate. Quality perlite creates the drainage and aeration that prevents root rot while ensuring oxygen can reach the deepest parts of your root zone. I use coarse-grade perlite rather than fine, as it maintains its structure longer and provides better long-term drainage. The key is finding the sweet spot where your soil holds moisture without becoming waterlogged. Perlite is what makes this balance possible. Beyond the basics, micronutrients, and my secret additives. While the foundational three create an excellent growing medium, the real magic happens when you add the micronutrients and biological amendments that most gardeners never consider. These additions transform good soil into extraordinary soil, and the results speak for themselves in the form of stronger plants, better disease resistance, and yields that exceed your wildest expectations. My secret weapon is kelp meal, a powerhouse amendment that delivers over 60 trace minerals in forms plants can readily absorb. Kelp meal doesn't just feed your plants, it enhances their natural ability to resist stress, whether from heat drought or pest pressure. I incorporate two tablespoons per gallon of soil mix and honestly the difference in plant resilience is remarkable. Plants grown with kelp meal bounce back faster from transplant shock and maintain their vigor throughout the entire growing season. Mycorrhizal fungi inoculant is another game changer that most gardeners overlook completely. These beneficial fungi form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, effectively extending the root system by hundreds of times while improving nutrient and water uptake. I add one teaspoon of quality mycorrhizal inoculant per gallon of soil mix ensuring every plant starts life with this powerful biological partnership. The root development I see in plants grown with mycorrhizae is simply stunning. Dense, white, healthy root systems that fill every inch of available space. Rock dust, specifically basalt rock dust, provides the slow-release minerals that commercial fertilizers simply cannot match. This ancient volcanic material breaks down gradually, 
feeding plants for months while improving soil structure and water retention. Two tablespoons per gallon might seem like a small addition, but the long-term benefits are profound. Plants grown in rock dust amended soil show improved flavor, better storage quality, and enhanced nutritional content. Mixing it up. Here's a step-by-step -step application for maximum impact. Creating this ultimate soil mix requires precision and attention to detail, but the process itself is, honestly, pretty straightforward once you understand the proper ratios and techniques. I mix everything in a large wheelbarrow or cement mixer, depending on the quantity I'm preparing, always working with ingredients that are at optimal moisture levels for easy blending. Start with four parts aged compost as your base, making sure it's slightly moist, but not soggy. Add two parts coconut coir that's been properly hydrated and fluffed. This usually means soaking compressed coir blocks overnight and breaking them apart thoroughly. The coir should feel like a wrung out sponge, holding moisture without dripping. Next, incorporate two parts coarse perlite, mixing gently to avoid crushing the delicate volcanic glass structure. Ah, uh, for container gardening, this 4 to 2 ratio provides the perfect balance of nutrition, moisture retention, and drainage. However, when I'm working with raised beds or in-ground applications, I like to adjust the ratios just a bit. I reduce the perlite to one part and increase the compost to five parts. You see, garden beds have natural drainage, and they really benefit from the extra organic matter. Now, the micronutrient additions require careful measurement and thorough mixing. I combine all the dry amendments, kelp meal, rock dust, and mycorrhizal inoculant in a separate container. Then, I sprinkle them over the base mix. This ensures even distribution throughout the entire batch. Use a cultivator or your hands to fold everything together gently but thoroughly. It's important to work from the bottom up to ensure complete integration without compacting the mixture. For new garden beds I prepare the soil mix several weeks before planting. This allows the components to meld together and the biological activity to establish. For container planting, the mix can be used immediately, though I prefer to let it rest for at least a week if time allows. You see the aging process allows the pH to stabilize and the organic components to begin their symbiotic relationships. Your bumper harvest future really depends on maximizing results and troubleshooting along the way. The real test of any soil mix comes not just in the initial growing season, but in how it performs over time and adapts to different growing conditions. This ultimate soil mix, you know, it actually continues improving with age as the organic components break down further and the biological activity increases. However, success depends on understanding how to maintain and supplement this living system throughout the growing season. During the active growing season, I feed this soil mix with compost tea every two weeks, brewing a nutrient-rich liquid fertilizer using additional compost, kelp meal, and molasses. This biological feeding approach supports the soil ecosystem while providing gentle, consistent nutrition that plants can access as needed. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that can create boom-and-bust nutrition cycles, this approach maintains steady nutrient availability while building soil health over time. One common question I receive is about pH management in this mix. The aged compost and coconut coir naturally buffer pH, typically maintaining a slightly acidic to neutral range that suits most garden plants perfectly. However, if you're growing acid-loving plants like blueberries or azaleas, you can adjust by adding sulfur or pine bark fines. For alkaline-preferring plants, a small amount of agricultural lime can be incorporated during the initial mixing phase. Drainage issues sometimes arise when gardeners either compress the soil during planting or use fine-grade perlite that breaks down too quickly. If you notice water pooling on the surface or plants showing signs of overwatering despite proper watering practices, the solution is adding more coarse perlite and gently cultivating the soil surface to restore proper structure. Prevention is always better than correction, so handle this soil mix gently, and avoid walking on planted areas whenever possible. The investment in creating this soil mix pays dividends throughout multiple growing seasons. In raised beds, I simply top dress with fresh compost each spring, and add a new sprinkle of rock dust and kelp meal. 
For containers, I refresh about one-third of the mix annually, combining the old soil with new components to maintain optimal nutrition and structure. This approach gives you years of exceptional growing medium while continuously improving the biological activity that makes this mix so effective. Transform your garden starting today. This soil mix represents, you know, years of experimentation, countless harvests, and the accumulated wisdom of really understanding what plants truly need to reach their full potential. The initial investment in quality ingredients might seem significant, but honestly, when you calculate the cost per pound of produce harvested, this mix pays for itself many times over. More importantly, you'll experience the pure satisfaction of growing vegetables and flowers that exceed every expectation you've ever had for your garden. The beauty of this system lies not just in its immediate results but in how it builds upon itself season after season. Your soil becomes more alive, more productive, and honestly more resilient with each passing year. Plants grown in this mix don't just survive, they thrive in ways that will amaze you and everyone who sees your garden. I challenge you to try this ultimate soil mix in just one section of your garden this season. Compare the results side by side with your current growing medium and, well, prepare to be amazed by the difference. Your plants will thank you with the most abundant harvest you've ever experienced. If this guide has inspired you to transform your garden's foundation, make sure to subscribe to Smart Garden for more game-changing gardening secrets. Share this guide with fellow gardeners who deserve to experience the satisfaction of truly bumper harvests, and drop a comment below about your own soil mix experiments. I love hearing how fellow gardeners adapt these techniques to their unique growing conditions. Together, we're building a community of gardeners who refuse to settle for average results.